and healthy altitudes to you. My name is Alex Burgess, I'm a registered dietitian, and today I'm here to share another nutritious and delicious recipe with you. So today we're making a really easy to make, versatile recipe for a basic balsamic marinade. I'm really excited to share some cool tips and tricks to make this recipe even quicker to make, and it's just a really great thing to have on hand. So why don't you continue watching and I'll show you how to whip it up really quick. All right, so here we are. We've got all of our ingredients ready to go. So really this recipe is super easy to make because one, it takes very little time, but two, there's only five ingredients in it. So we've got some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, Dijon mustard, as well as some fresh herbs, and then garlic cloves. That's all you need to make this quick recipe, but it can be used as a marinade for meat, such as chicken or beef, even fish or vegetables if you wanna do that. But it can also be used as a dressing, so that's what makes it really versatile. It has plenty of uses, and it's a great thing to have on hand, especially if you like to meal prep for the week, because again, it can be used to marinate a recipe one night, or if you need a quick lunch, you have some of that on hand, as long as you haven't already put it on the meat, and you can use that as a dressing for your salad for lunch. So let's go ahead and get going with it. I'm gonna make it in one go, to show you how quick and easy it is to make. So first I like to begin by prepping the ingredients that need to be chopped, just have those ready to go. So I'm gonna start with my garlic. And again, remembering those knife skills, just have, I'm gonna cut off a slice so I have a flat surface and then flip it over so the garlic can't escape from me. And then just use a rocking motion to cut some thin slices, just like that. And we'll do that for the sit. Do the same for the other garlic clove. There we go. Some thin slices, nice and easy. And then now that I've got those laying flat, pretty much just lay them down flat and cut thin slices again. And really we're just trying to mince the garlic so it's in lots of small pieces that'll just really be able to cover all of the protein or whatever else we're marinating. So in my case, I love to marinate chicken with this recipe because the balsamic vinegar just brings a really nice sweetness and I think it goes great with chicken. So now I'm just gonna cut the other way just to get, again, those really small little pieces through the rocking motion. Always remembering to keep my fingers curved and that way that'll protect my fingertips. Don't wanna get those chopped off. All right, that's pretty well minced. It doesn't have to be perfect because again, it's just a marinade or even a dressing. You're not really worried about how it looks. And then We'll move on from that to the herbs. So I have a fresh herb garden growing in my backyard. I love growing herbs because they're pretty easy to take care of. Um, they don't cost too much when you are planting them, but then you can use them all throughout the summer in all your different recipes. So today I've got with me some fresh basil that I just washed up, had it soaking in a bowl of water for a little bit. And then I'm gonna, and then I just like rinsed it off and dried it off a little bit. Still a little wet, but that doesn't matter. So what I'm doing here is I've got the leaves kind of all stacked on top of each other, and then I'm just gonna take it and roll it into a nice little mm, tube looking thing there. So having all those leaves rolled on top of each other, then when you cut across, it makes these nice kind of ribbon shapes. So I'll show you when I'm done cutting. But basically this type of cut or knife cut is called chiffonade. So for those of you interested, you can use a fancy word when you're cooking next time and say I'm chiffonading the basil. So as you can see, it kind of makes these nice thin ribbons that look great, um, like if you're putting them on a margarita pizza or anything else, maybe the top of a pasta dish, they look very pretty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of roughly chop them again, going the other direction, just because again, we want these ingredients cut up pretty small so they'll mix in nicely with the marinade and bring flavor to just all of the different parts of the meat or whatever you're marinating. I'm just gonna quickly chop that a little extra and that looks pretty good to me. Nothing too fancy. And then with the oregano, any kind of herb that grows on a stem like this, if you hold it at the top and kind of Grab on lightly with your fingers and then pull down. That's a great way to separate the leaves quickly from the stem. So I've got those leaves and then you might have to pick off just the top bit a little bit, but there you go. You don't want the stem just cause it's really thick and not fun to eat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that again with the other stem. And so altogether, I'm probably gonna have about three tablespoons of fresh herbs chopped up. 
and I'm just gonna do the same kind of rocking motion for this oregano. You can also use dried herbs if you want. You know, it's not all the time that we have fresh herbs on hand, especially if it's in the winter and you don't have a nice little garden growing outside. So you can go ahead and use dried herbs as well. Just know that they'll be a little more potent. So you want to use less overall. So again, I've got about probably three tablespoons of fresh herbs here, but if I were to use dried oregano and dried basil, I would only use about a tablespoon total in the marinade. So perfect, we've got that stuff cut up that's ready to go. Next up, I'm gonna measure out my olive oil. So we're gonna use about a third, oh, that's the vinegar. We're gonna use about a third of a cup of the olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out here. Eh, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Again, it's just a marinade, but I love to use extra virgin olive oil because it brings really great flavor to the marinade. You can use other oils like canola oil, that's pretty common and inexpensive. It probably just won't taste as great, but it'll still, you'll get a lot of flavors from the other ingredients, so you don't have to worry. Another great option is avocado oil, or really just any kind of oil you have on hand, but it's really a key ingredient to the marinade. Then I'm going to go ahead and add that into my mason jar. So this is a great tip that I love to share with people. I love having mason jars on hand. They're like my favorite little piece of equipment to have in the kitchen because you can easily mix up sauces, dressings, or marinades in this case. Um, and they even have little numbers on the side sometimes so you can see like up here this is a cup so you can even use them for measuring and then once you close the lid you can shake up that sauce really quick or that marinade and it'll all come together super fast you don't have to worry about putting it in different bowls and having all these dishes you just shake it up in here and then it's already in the storage container as well so you can throw it in the fridge and you're good to go so today i'm going to be making this marinade in my little nifty mason jar a very versatile tool so I've got about a third of a cup in there, maybe a little extra. A little extra olive oil won't hurt. Again, olive oil is heart healthy. It has lots of monounsaturated fats. If you haven't checked out our other videos, I've definitely talked about that in the kale chips recipe video. So go ahead and check that out when you're done watching this. But monounsaturated fats are those types of fats that are just really good for our heart. So we love olive oil here in this kitchen. Next up, now I'll use the balsamic vinegar. So I'm only gonna use about two tablespoons of vinegar. When you're making a marinade, I was doing some research and usually what I saw is that you want a ratio of three parts oil to one part acid. So this balsamic vinegar is our acid today. Any kind of vinegar is a great option. They're all gonna be acidic, but I do like balsamic vinegar because it has a little bit of sweetness as well. So it just tastes really great. Um, but yeah, so using a third to a half a cup of olive oil and then two tablespoons of this vinegar that's going to give us about that three to one ratio then i'm going to use about a tablespoon of mustard and i will admit i was making this recipe before had to start all over because when i opened this it exploded everywhere but there we go not as bad so this one i'm going to use about a tablespoon if i can get it out there's no need to really measure but you want about a tablespoon just because this mustard is a key ingredient, it emulsifies the marinade. So what that means is it's gonna help bring together that olive oil and the vinegar. Normally when you put oil and then another liquid like water or vinegar in a container, they wanna separate and you can kind of see that here. But once we all mix it together, that uh, mustard will help emulsify the mixture and make sure that the olive oil and vinegar stay all mixed evenly together. Then all we've got left to do is throw in my fresh herbs and my garlic, dump that in there, do it over the cutting board to prevent a ton of messiness. And then the magic part comes next when we put on the lid and shake it up all together. Perfect, all right. That's pretty good, so I'm gonna get this on and then all you have to do, make sure your lid's on tight, don't want olive oil flying all over the place. And if you just shake it together, it mixes up super quick, super easy, and there you go. So I've got about a half cup of marinade here total. So that's gonna be enough to cover about a pound of chicken. Um, and I will be using this for another recipe. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, so I'm gonna use probably a cup for two pounds of chicken or one half cup, which is what this recipe makes for a pound of chicken. So just make note of that. But again, you can use it for any other kind of meat, pound of beef, or even just a good couple cups of vegetables, that'll be plenty of marinade for you. 
So I encourage you to try this recipe out, especially if you're planning on meal prepping for the next week. Just whip this up, throw it in the fridge. You've got a dressing, a marinade, all in one. And if you wanna make the recipe at home, if you prefer to follow something that's printed or online, go ahead and check out healthyaltitudes.com. We've got this recipe on a nice page or PDF that you can download. And you can also read a little bit more about some additional nutritional info and find tips and tricks on our blog posts. So check it out. Thanks so much. Bye.